All right, everybody, it is time. It is time for the monthly check of grand finals. Leviticus back in the booth here with you, with my good friend Panman Richard. It is time to see Snipe versus Betty. Uh, I, I'm sure that you've followed along uh, throughout uh, the year um, with the results at the very least, and I'm sure you know very well, Panman, that Snipe has been on an absolute tear since last year's World Championships, uh, where you defeated him in the top eight. He's gotten so much better since then it's scary and I, I think he's definitely one of the favorites this year so that's not to count betty out she's also everyone in this community has gotten so so much better than they were a, a short year ago um do you have any predictions any thoughts on this match Oof, <laughs> man it's hard it's hard to pick because both these players have handed me some um very devastating losses on my part here <laughs> so um <laughs> they they both improved so much in terms of their gameplay from last year and this year um i might give the slight edge to snipe but you never know what can happen in these tournaments that doesn't count betty out at all like these matchups there's only so much predictions you can do um all the math and whatnot you can do in your head but at the end of the day what only matters is right here in the moment. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this match will turn out. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I would have to give a Snipe a slight edge if only because he is coming in from winner's finals and Betty Wiz going to need to win uh, two games or two full matches of best of five crowns in order to win the tournament. Um, so we'll see if she's able to deliver and take home what I believe would be her first monthly checkup championship. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and uh, give them the signal. And they should be starting off very shortly, and we can get this underway. Uh, Jess, this is uh, this is Panban Richard here in the booth with me, coming to you live from Manitoba. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're both Canadians. The Canadian booth is live here at the monthly checkup tonight, <laughs> just before we head off to Columbus in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so these guys should be starting off very shortly here. Uh, maybe just taking a moment. Um, man, I can feel the suspense building. I can't wait uh, to see what happens here between these two. Uh, I'm sure Betty is feeling nervous. I don't know if she's how often she ends up playing against Snipe. I think she has definitely made it to the grand finals in the past. I'm so bad at remembering past results. But anyway, here we are. We're starting it here off. Here we go. All right. So it looks like um, Snipe here has got the back to back doubles here, which will lead to a quad. So um, fast. Yeah. Right away from the get-go. I think that's the one thing I've noticed with Snipe. He's definitely gotten a lot faster with his combo output stat. Whoa, he can get early top outs just like that. He's already topped her out. That's game one already to Snipe. I didn't, he wasn't even ready for it. <laughs> uh, if you play Snipe, that's something that you might have to get used to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, better better her than me. I don't want to have to deal with that, but... Uh, looks like she is faring much better this time around. Her board is definitely a little low on the lower side. Um, Snipe, uh, maybe a little higher up, but definitely has a lot of setups ready to go. The thing I've noticed with Snipe's gameplay is that because of how aggressive he is, um, you tend to, when you face him, you tend to lean more towards, like, going for defense right away. So sometimes you might want to trade blow for blow, but you run the risk of um, topping out sooner as a result. So um, it's it's very much a gamble when you're in the moment versus um, um, commentating or watching as the rest of us are. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think that really the only thing you can actually do in the face of that is to match pace with Snipe, which is obviously not easy. But uh, if you try to go too defensive, like he just does not relent on pressure. His pressure is like no other. So the only thing you can do is try to put him under a similar amount of force and hope that it, it you know holds him back enough that you can stay in the game and, and keep up with him yeah and the thing about snipe is that it appears that whenever he does his setups like he's always making sure like he has like maybe uh two or three doubles in a row to sort of like continue to uh, add more time for himself to set up combos and also going for the virus clears here Betty now, unfortunate column three garbage, this yellow capping off the spire is not a good look for her. She's gonna have to find a way to deal with that. And uh, oh, some follow up garbage is, is not helping matters. She is getting some horizontals to stay alive, but it's not enough to give her any combos here. Looks like she will finally get a double. Oh, she dropped the blue in the wrong spot um, and she's gonna cover it up. That's gonna be it. Snipe is one game away. 
one game for the Grand Finals, but I wouldn't count on Betty just yet. Sometimes you never know, you just need to be as far behind as possible for the first to three in order to make a comeback. Mm -hmm. We've seen it before, we saw Floyd with an amazing comeback earlier tonight where he did the full reverse sweep, um, and it took, he, he, it was a marathon, he took him quite a long time to get there, but he, he sought it out and he got there. So there's no reason that Betty can't do the same here. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, meanwhile, we're seeing some nice aggression here from Betty's side, actually. It looks like she managed to catch the advantage over Snipe in the early game here. Um, now, Snipe appears to be in the defensive as, as they're both evening out the, the trades at the moment as uh, Betty goes with a triple and Snipe responds with a triple in kind as well. Betty's right edge looking a little rough. Um, she may want to have to find a way to deal with that, but uh, she... I mean, it's double, she's a double right away from doing so. Luckily, not too much more garbage falling on that. Yeah, because all these, like, matchups are happening on high now, like, you have to be mindful of the amount of time that you have to get your capsule to the right position compared to if you're playing on medium. Oh, and, oh no! Wow, that is unfortunate! And that she cannot get it over in time! And just like that, Snipe with the quick 3-0 to take the Grand Finals down. Oh my goodness. Uh, wow. That was, uh, unbelievable. <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest with you, we we had talked a little bit about how long this may or may not go, and uh, wow, we, we didn't think this was what was going to happen. That is wild. I'm speechless, Yeah, but it's okay. Um, Jess also brought up a good point, like fatigue is also a huge thing because we're playing these like very much late at night, which is definitely going to be a different scenario with Columbus, when it's going to be during the... Uh, regular hours of the day, which is in those circumstances of this tournament, it's more so like the privilege to do it at Columbus. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, honestly, uh, I will say um, I think Columbus is going to be a whole different story for many reasons, the least of which being, uh, or not the least of which being the fact that it's live play. It really does change things. We're playing on CRTs. Um, we have, you know, it, it's just a different feel. I got to tell you, I haven't gone to a couple of regionals playing on the actual original console it really is different um and i don't think uh you know i think it's really gonna unlock the ability for people to play even faster than they do online and uh, I, I just can't wait to see it it's gonna be incredible um but uh yeah that was uh that was quite a finals i mean i think that's a pretty bold statement for snipe to make i know he will be in attendance in columbus and i think he has his sights set on the championship so if that's anything to go by, I think everybody better watch out and bring their A game if they if they want to have a shot at it themselves. Um, but uh, I think that's gonna just about do it. Um, Pan Ban, it was great to have you in the commentator booth. Um, if only it could have been at least a little bit longer. But uh, anything you want to say to the people? Honestly, I, I've been saying this plenty of times myself. As I've seen like the community begin to like continue to grow competitively, I. Everybody in these monthly tournaments in like the Virus Buster League has grown so much from when I've seen them all last play like in Columbus last year. So to all of you who've like gone as far to distance to improve on your game in whatever way possible, I think you should all give yourself like your own pat on the back. And whatever happens at Columbus, it's all about the vibes. We're all just Dr. Mario players coming together to just, to just have a good time and just like enjoy each other's company as we just play the game that we all have grown to love. That's wholesome as heck. I love it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I know I couldn't agree more. And honestly, to that point, uh, I think everyone should be very proud of themselves as a community and as individuals and in how far the skill ceiling has been raised by everybody. Um, I think that if you went, if you, if you went f ahead in time at November in Columbus last year to see the level that people are at today, you, we would be shocked. Um, it might not seem that way because we're here now and hindsight's 2020, but uh, man, I, I really think that um, everything, everyone has gotten so good compared to even a year ago, and I hope that the monthly checkup has at least been some part of that. I'd like to think so, uh, but uh, oh, yeah, more so, definitely. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, yeah, I just can't wait. I think this is going to be the craziest tournament yet. I think that anyone who has had, you know, gone into a cave for the last year and has no idea what's been going on in the online versus scene is going to be stunned at what they see this year. And uh, I hope that each and every one of you watching and that everyone who's been playing in these events has, uh, is, goes out there and absolutely kills it. And I hope you show everybody what you can do. And uh, yeah, I'm rooting for all of you, every single one of you. I'm, I'm heavily biased.
<laughs> you have that. That's that's all I got to say about that. <laughs>